right? I'm gonna just let's God. start by saying we need to talk about the triangle of motherfucking sadness. Oh, <laughs> I'm ready to start rating the second you, you are. You are because I'm like I need to dig into this oh, movie I know. I just before have something I can even say. rate it. I get it. I just have something to motherfucking say. What do you have to say? First of all, <laughs> when we I'm gonna start with this. That we've been wanting to watch this for a while, right? Like forever. This was our movie uh, that we've been itching. I mean, yes. So I'm gonna say in the, the theaters for less than a week. Less than a week, and we missed it. And we missed it. And we've been beating our asses ever since. Yes. Finally watched it today. I've heard mixed reviews. I'm just gonna say that. I've heard no reviews. I when we were went to go watch it today, I saw the little IMDb score, seven point six. I was like, I don't know how much I trust IMDb mm-hmm. anymore. I mean, you know, yeah, they get it wrong sometimes. They do get it wrong sometimes. It's a seven point six. That's what I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna really? give it on <laughs> par. A seven point fucking six. Oh my okay, God. that's exactly exactly that number. Is exactly how I feel. I think I would give it like an eight point four. 8. I get 5. it. Like I totally get it. I'm saying that just because I'm. I'm I know. Not I know. The cliffhanger person. Knowing you, <laughs> I know. That that ending almost ruined the movie it for you. Did it didn't yeah. almost the movie could have been a ten. It could have, and was, I mean that it could have been it a was ten out of ten. Five minutes away from being. It was a ten out of ten. No, it it really was yeah. one good ending away from being a movie that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break it down for. And it wasn't even just a movie. It was like. They could have just, they were so close to concluding it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how they concluded it. It doesn't you, matter, but write an ending. I mean, write an ending to the movie. Ass. Like, are you serious? It was almost a near perfect movie except for that. I don't care if you wrote a bad ending. <laughs> I know. And put it out there. No, I know. But write the last page of the movie. <laughs> write it. No. Before you make oh. this fucking movie. My God, I agree. Fuck <laughs> that. Oh, fuck <laughs> that. And what is what is the man's name? The boyfriend? Oh, Carl. Where where is he running to? Exactly. Fuck that. That's how I felt. I thought it was some vague ass like this is for you to figure out, guys. It was so vague. But I mean we don't even know if Yaga got blasted in the head with that rock yeah or if she if right that it. bitch changed her mind right it how okay i'm just gonna talk about the ending right now okay. and say how this movie went through i don't know how many production companies that supported in producing this yeah but how this script was read and not said, like, did I miss, like, I see 67 pages. There's 68th that, like, yeah. I didn't get faxed mm-hmm. to me. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah. understand. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you serious? There's no ending? It's literally a movie without an ending. I know. Because it's not a series. There's no, like, oh, let's see season two, episode one. Is Yaya here or not? I know. No, this is the whole thing. It's this did is they all ever this get is off? all it goes. Or did that bitch? Yeah, that Abigail too. Are they just on the island to die? Okay. Or did this like n- this native people to this land? Are they gonna help them? Like, trust me when I say I know. Look, I'm gonna say, like I said, it could have been a ten. So I'm not saying this was necessarily a bad movie. Yeah. I, if there's one thing I don't fuck with, it's a cliffhanger like that. I know. I You have to be pissed. I don't like a cliffhanger either. I don't like 
not knowing what's going to happen because obviously this is not the movie that's going to have uh, Triangle of Sadness too. Yeah. And I just, I wish I had answers. I'm left feeling like, what? I don't feel, okay. When you leave a movie, you should feel satisfied with something. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. If it's a murder mystery, you better find out who the killer is right. or you're going to be unsatisfied. You know, like something yeah. like that. I could not be less satisfied. It's like dangling a carrot in my I face. Know. Forever. Because it was so good. Yeah. Because it was so, so good. Yeah. It was so good. If it was a shitty movie. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd be like, oh my God, really? Like, like no of shit. Of course, it's yeah, going to end like, like that. Of course, it'd be like <laughs> yeah. the worst ending for the worst movie. Like, right. Duh. But it's because it was so flawless, <laughs> almost. You yeah, know, I loved it. How are you going to end it like that? That's crazy. I'm I'm hurt. <laughs> like, I'm almost offended. <laughs> yes. Like, why would you do that? No, Was I that know. a joke? Like, did you do it to, like, see every audience member just cringe at the never knowing? <laughs> the never, ever, ever knowing? Like, I have to play no, in my own brain and go write my own ending. To feel so like some 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 sort of comfort, like I'm getting flustered and everything. Okay. I'm sure we're gonna get back to this ending. All right, but <sighs> I so badly feel like this is a movie I need to see again. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. There were so many layers to it. Oh my! God. I wish I had a notepad and was writing notes. Because of mm-hmm. so many things that I just know I'm going to forget. It's going to completely go over my head. I know. But that's I'm when you know forget. it's good because you were so sucked in. I was so sucked in. I could in. not take my eyes away. And in a way of I am enjoying this so much. That's why I, I can't take my eyes off. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was such a ride. Let's just begin with the parts. How about that? Part uh, one. I will do my best. What was the part one called? Because I Yaya never saw Yaya and Carl. Oh, that's what it was called. Carl and Yaya. Okay. I thought I didn't know where this movie was going to go. Me I neither. was so <laughs> confused almost. Mm-hmm, like, yeah. what? Did I go into the right movie? Did I rent the right movie? I'm so confused. But obviously, I knew I was in the right movie because the first scene was great. The first scene was great. Yaya, Carl and Yaya was great. It said a lot about yeah. Ooh, character development. That's and just like another name for Carl society, and Yaya. How people see men and women, but it, there was it was such exaggerated mm-hmm. versions. I almost felt like are they trying to shit on women who are feminists um, for a second, but then they were making him seem crazy as well. So I was like, they're not, they're kind of shitting on everybody. Okay. So like, that's what was confusing for me too, especially the first like three quarters of the movie, because it felt almost like an anti-feminism movie I know. to an extent. I did. I was nervous. I was nervous <laughs> I was, as hell. I was nervous too. I was, oh, I really wanted to ask you like, what's the message like, I know. to this? Because it's concerning, <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> then like with Abigail I started to feel like wait maybe that's not like I don't it's like not as anti-feminist as I thought it okay. was it just had like hints of it to me it seemed like a total picture of kind of it was almost political almost I was gonna say that exact word yeah very showing like all the different sides but exaggerated versions okay yeah obviously they didn't show greatness but let me just say that they did i think make a statement about it okay and it says questioning the economic systems of contemporary society and the privileges that come with your own position in the hierarchy Triangle of Sadness asks its audience whether they can overcome their social group or if they're forever bound by its limitations. At least somebody said that about it, and that felt so accurate to me. Yeah. I also want to say that I understand if people just loved this movie and liked that ending of, like, 
that's not the point. Yeah. Just know that this is the message. Right. As soon as they can get mm-hmm. out, Abigail's like, I don't want to go like back there. Yeah. And you don't have to know whether it happens. I totally respect I get the it. message. I get it. I'm just, I need to know. I know. I need to know. I know. Like I that's need just to know. how I need a period, not a question mark. That's at the end of the day, me personally, I will never feel satisfied with a cliffhanger. I completely get it. 100%. So what did you think of Carl and Yaya? Their relationship. Obviously, just in part one. Part I'm one. I'm not going to speak on the rest because obviously yeah. things change. Mm-hmm. But I thought, oh my gosh, Yaya is a lot. She is yeah, okay. crazy. <laughs> she <laughs> is annoying. Yeah. Okay. I thought he was just kind of dumb and ignorant. Not ignorant in like a just stupid way, but yeah. ignorant in just a regular. He didn't know how to communicate. So he was just mm. as annoying. Yeah. I they mean, were just totally annoying. Okay, Carl to me was a character that actually progressively got worse. Yeah. He like threw, he started out in the movie almost like kind of a regular guy like yeah he yeah. is somewhat up there in status because of his career and but his, hardly hardly yeah i mean they mentioned he it. doesn't have like really money or like that mm-hmm. or you know as the movie went on well they cons i mean the whole part one was talking about money mm-hmm. i mean you I know mean, what i mean yeah. but like as the movie went on he started to give more and more i'd go to the white lotus do you know what i'm yeah. saying like the how he would kind of he ratted on that i know worker but like the it wasn't even just how the fact that he ratted it was how he, he interacted with the employees of the yacht yeah and just like yeah yeah thanks like just this very he elitist. was so self-absorbed it wasn't even he doesn't even give elite because He's obviously not. He's on this free yacht cruise thing with his girl. Yeah. That's it. He clearly doesn't have money, but he has this ego. and He just started to become more and more pretentious. Yeah. <laughs> Which was just, a to me, it just stuck out as a weird development. Because he, mm-hmm. I don't know, he got progressively... Okay, this is going to be, like, a funny way to put it. Never mind. I'm just not even going to put it that way. But <laughs> I wish I knew. Anyway, I'll <laughs> yeah. Um, Carl, he just got more and more... I don't know if it was, like... Okay. <sighs> it's almost like I felt like I was peeling back onion layers yeah. of this man. Like, I don't think he was even changing, really, as no, a person. No, I think he was... It's just I was seeing him... More and more clearly in a negative way. I feel like it was, I hate to put it like this and maybe you were kind of thinking the same thing, but just white, straight, male, privilege, personality. And it was okay. just coming out more and more. Out in the beginning, like not just as bad. Just very like entitled, just, almost. Yeah. Just, and it was coming, at first you kind of think, Okay, maybe he kind of does want everyone to be equals. Maybe he right. is kind of seeing past what all these other elites are seeing. Mm. He's seeing something, and then he realizes he is just as bad, just, if not I worse. Mean, he's the exact same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yaya, um, which to me was funny because her character, I'm not going to say it progressively got better, It, but hers was more like ups and downs there was like i don't know if i like yaya yeah. or not and by the end she was I didn't entitled hate her. too she, she was, was okay she was entitled her. she was annoying she was out of touch with reality sure right at the within the last, <laughs> <laughs> within the last five minutes yeah. you are like you really do love this bitch the way that she was hugging her and she kissed her yeah i know she, you just saw actually the humanity in her or just mm-hmm. how she and uh, she understood she didn't care about this bullshit of her what's her name abigail Carl. stealing 
Carl. Yeah, yeah. She didn't give a fuck about that anymore. She was so grateful to be out and happy that Abigail is coming out with her. And you and, saw, like, how, you know. And she also seemed to understand why Abigail needed a minute to go yeah. back to her safety. Right. Back to home. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, like you said, her, like, hugging her and kissing her forehead because she's like, yeah, we can take, like. Yeah, because she knows that, you know, Abigail is losing. That's why she said at the very end, I can help you. I can. That, see, that's the other thing, too. Like, you, this ending scene is starting so well. I know. So well. I mean, even if Abigail had, if this is one one possible ending. Mm-hmm. Abigail does hit her with the rock. Right. Goes back. There's something about, like, maybe they stay here forever. With right. fucking Abigail in charge. And she knows about this thing, but she right. will never, ever tell them. Right. That's a possibility. Like, just the fact that there is nothing. Like, <laughs> I don't... Write the other one if she didn't hit her. I don't know. Like, just... You do Pick that. Pick one. Isn't that, like, what you do? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. I l- feel like I lost my train of thought. I got all wackadoo for a minute. We were talking about Yaya's Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, um... She's walking up behind Yaya, you know. Um, You're shitting a brick because you Yaya's are like sitting here acting like she is oblivious to the yeah. fact that she might possibly be brutally murdered mm-hmm. right now. Yaya knows. Yaya is smarter than we think she is. Don't you think she, they, it's not? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Did I didn't get know? that. Okay, before you tell me what you got, this is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got that Yaya knew she was like creeping up behind her and basically said, like, like almost knew minute. she was like, like about I to will, kill her. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, you know, I can help you. Like, I can understand why you think that. Or And like, you can, like, I don't know how I can help you, but I can help you. Like, mm-hmm. telling her, like, you don't have to do this, basically. Yeah. That's what I got from it. What did you get? I got that she didn't have any idea. She was giving her her privacy. Um, she's heard her coming back? N- no, I think that she maybe did hear her coming back. I don't think it matters. I think she was just saying... Oh, just to Just say knowing it. like that Abigail's having a hard time going back. Mm-hmm. And just saying, hey, like, you know, I really do like you. And I would hire Abigail's you. And now Abigail's like questioning. Yeah, it was kind this. of like a moral. Like, what is mm-hmm. she going to do for power? Totally. I totally get that, too. I don't know. Because you see how much Yaya actually is not a bad person. Obviously, yeah. she does not deserve to get busted on the head with this rock. Okay. Um, before I go to Yaya, I did want to say, I was thinking this during the movie, this is like your like worst nightmare of a movie. The amount of like vomit and shit like wet Full shit. diarrhea and then <laughs> extreme animal violence i mean like it's hard to sit through or hear yeah. like that is your worst and i was like holy shit i can't believe they put all your like all you have to do is I drop know. a spider in. drop a spider in. It's a <laughs> that was your up. most like your phobia <laughs> of a movie no for real yeah anyway regardless but- <clears throat> of all of those things i still thought it was so so good yeah it was fantastic <laughs> that's why i only can say i'm only gonna knock off 1.5 for that stupid ending yeah but i mean i else, said it in a fit of rage i know it probably honestly if we're thinking it's probably like a nine 9.1 i don't know for I'm me hurting. it's just I'm hurting going with up the ending i know it is i know what you mean <laughs> like it's going up even the more i talk about it i know the whole time i thought it was fucking fantastic so let's start when it started to get really good which to me was part two. Oh yachts, yeah to yachts. me it was specifically and we can talk about anything that happened before that but the captain's dinner was because mm-hmm. before i really <clears throat> felt like i have no idea what movie i'm watching right now i'm right just here along for the ride oh yeah 
And this captain's dinner comes up and that it was the moment where I was like, this is such a good movie. Yeah. Were these motherfuckers poisoned or were they seasick? They They were were all seasick. seasick. It was like such an artsy way of being dramatic of. Okay. This is what. I don't know. Can I say this? Can I say whatever you want? The way that they had these motherfuckers throwing up and (laughs) diarrheaing was so well done. Oh my god! I I, okay. It was to the point of when you see someone throw up in movies or TV, it's usually like ah, gross. I know. I felt bad. I I mean, I feel like you're actually throwing up and I feel horrible. Like, this is embarrassing. I feel secondhand embarrassment. I feel so bad for you. They didn't even care. No one even cared by a certain point. Oh, yeah. But, like, watching them... I'm just going to start when they're first throwing up. Mm -hmm. Especially, there was an older woman. Not the blonde one. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. (laughs) She threw in her her husband's hat. You remember? They were in the hallway. The way her back like arched, like it com- it came out of her like explosive. Almost. Every single person acted that scene. Oh my god! To a T, even the staff. Oh, how they were just ignoring everything god. and just kept it going. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so. And great. And the meal that they had, this disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, beautiful food. Okay, right. <laughs> no, no. You tell, it just nauseous. added to the disgustingness of knowing that they ate this sick food. Right. And are just so sick. I don't even know. It was uh, it was the such vomiting a vomiting was so good. I almost couldn't get past it. I know. Until I got to the it's coming out of both ends of the characters. That was when they're on the toilet. The first time I see is the man. He yes. is dripping in sweat. Dripping in sweat. He has his bathroom door open. He's ass you hear naked. It. And you're hearing it. But he's ass naked. And he has a bucket to throw up. And, and he's like shitting at the same time. How sick this man. Like the reality of I that know. nightmare. Of that almost fever dream. Yeah. If that's happening to you. Yeah. How they shot that is. And captured it. It's fucking beyond me. The way but they when, captured every moment. When they got to the girl with that curly hair, the blonde woman, and she's having the same thing, but the boat is swaying back and forth, and she can barely even get her head back up to the toilet bowl to like throw up. I know. It. That nightmare of a situation. Like I felt whatever the fuck I know. you are experiencing right I know. now and i don't feel i'm not even seeing this as that gross I at this point i feel horrible even to you. touch upon that lady in particular i think she did a phenomenal job mm-hmm. with this movie and i think that her even her dinner scene where she's eating and she's kind of collected more than anyone else yeah and then she gets sick really suddenly and then asks for the champagne yeah and drinks it and mm-hmm. then throws and up she's again the cover woman right i think she's Is on she? the cover of or at least like the thumbnail of the trailer <laughs> something yeah. like that but I mean, um that what i was gonna say was mm-hmm. on top of that the music choice they had <sighs> for this scene i don't know if i'd call it original Fucking out of the box. Yeah. Fucking unexpected. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But nice. Like, I would never hear this that, song. That, like, rock like, song? Yes. In, <laughs> yeah. like, a movie like this, too. Yeah. Like, it was so... It was and this scene, pure chaos. Yeah. And seriously. you felt like a fly on the wall to this chaos. <laughs> yeah. This nightmare. Literally. Full nightmare. Oh, and that, yeah, that's the song for it. Like, I don't know what else it to say. It just made sense. It wasn't even a bad song. It just made <sighs> sense. Oh, my God. I know. But people don't usually put, like, hard rock like that. Yeah. In a movie unless it's, like, they're walking into their teenage son's room to tell yeah. him to turn it down. Something like that. Yeah. 
I like, feel what like the fuck. I know I keep so good. saying this, but I feel like if we watch this again and made notes on everything that we want to touch upon, we could be here for four or five hours talking about this movie. Oh, thank it God had so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it had so much in it that I just am so mad that I can't even remember everything that was so these details. Oh, uh-huh, I know it sucks. But that were so flawless. Oh, uh-huh. I yeah. Um. All right. I want to stay on the yacht. We have to for a minute. There a lot happened. A lot happened on the yacht. Um. I thought it was really oh my god okay i was gonna like t- talk about something and i was gonna there's so much to say that i am almost switch i'm putting a pin in that for a minute mm-hmm. and saying the style of this movie i don't bravo i don't know i don't, I don't know who know. you are but you're uh who is this you're an artist my man, my woman. Ruben Ostlund? Ostlund? I don't know. Let's see. Ruben, have you done anything else? Nothing that I know. Let me see. Ruben, you are, you're, I guess I would call you an artist because that's this all I can say. Was, it felt like. A mix of so many different movies that I've seen, but uh, there were moments that I was getting <laughs> some Sam Levinson. There was looks. moments I was getting Tarantino. There were moments that I got whoever did um, that one movie that we love, the art one. The girl. Oh, who did Whiplash? No, no, no. Oh, no. I meant like. The Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, Wes Kingdom. Anderson. It almost yeah, gave, it gave me that hints too. of that. Mm-hmm. Not yeah, me obviously too. from him, but Okay, a and vibe what of that. like all of these people have in common is that they are all near geniuses at their craft. Like these are like people who when I see your work, yeah. I don't have comments for you because you've touched something that I is out of this reality. I wouldn't be able to You've do it. Tapped into something spiritual. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. like happened, but it's something that becomes bigger than a movie. It's something yeah. that becomes bigger than a show. It's mm-hmm. something art. I mean, it's fucking art. And like I said, these people are geniuses. So if there's like pieces of these people's maybe yeah. style or inspiration in it, like and I get how you saw them too, because when I was watching it, I was like, "Yeah, this is like the type of thing that is." And there was genius. just hints of these inspirations, almost, but it was its complete own style. Yeah, it was very unique, and in no way did he rip off anybody's vibe. This was one of its own. It just no, I know. I'm just saying, like. There's sometimes when I'm watching certain movies that what I'm trying to say is it breaks like the idea of a movie yeah. and it becomes art. It becomes right. like a true artistic experience. You're yeah. way past the point of a movie and you're now watching art happen in front of you and you're having an experience of this thing. Yes. And I felt like this along with the other directors, touch that. So much. It would touch the stars. It was so crazy. Okay, but what I did want to say, because I d- was, uh, I put a pin in something. The couple who owned, like, what's it called? You know, like, gone, like a machinery. Yes. Yeah. Uh, grenades. They, business. they created hand grenades. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was funny that it was them, especially just, like, their attitudes about it. Yeah. That, like. We didn't it, just create something that's killed millions and millions. It almost is, had, like, wars. A, yeah. Like, it almost had, like, an eerie energy. Yeah. Because there are these, like, what you would call maybe 
like sweet old people. Right. So it felt like uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. I was nervous. It almost felt like a joke. <laughs> yeah. But when this fucking popped grenade lands next to this woman, I think this is ours. Oh, no, no, no. And then. Pff, and then you see the away. body. What body? One of their bodies dropped into the ocean. Really? Yes. Oh. It. W- I know. My hand went over my mouth. I think that was the moment where I thought anything flies in this movie. Officially. So anyone's going to die. Even in the end. Whenever Abigail was going up to Yaya with that rock. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. This is the third time we're bringing it up. Mm. But I just knew anything can happen in this movie because they are not holding back. No, I even know. Even with the, even like Woody Harrelson being yeah. the captain and not even making it off the boat nope. to the island. It didn't matter like who you and were. What the fuck, Woody? Like. Get it together. Holy. For real. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. I mean, have your crisis another time, another place. I know. I cannot be clear. Get oh my blasted God, at home. Go to your local mm-hmm. bar. Speak, preach. This is just not the place to have a like political moment. You're not even driving the ship, and you're blasted. Yeah. What like, do you mean by political mo- moment? Like, okay, all of his like basically quotes and speeches things mm-hmm. on like capitalism yeah. oh, yeah. and like uh, like certain political things and i mean but it was mostly about capitalism, we're talking about anything. communism stuff like that i mean yeah when they first met each other you knew they were gonna be a badass little couple really? of guys together because they just started going back and forth over their favorite quotes and it was just kind of i don't know it just yeah. felt kind of funny i don't know but like okay the thing is like what is your problem like you've been drunk How can all you day not get it together you can't do the most simplest of tasks and it's just be sober during the day if you want to whenever you're off for the night get blasted get blasted and but you, have, you made like, everything difficult not just difficult i mean it was the seasick situation i feel like it's his fault right because they showed the wheel just no it was not that okay so remember when she went to his room and she was like we have you to plan the captain's dinner and it has to be on any day but thursday because thursday we have this they're in this rough water or something and she said, we can't have it that day. And he said, Thursday is great. They eat dinner every single night. Why does it matter if it's oh, Thursday? Okay. And she I just know had to agree. About. So they knew, I think, that the people who worked on the boat knew that this was going to be hell. But it was the captain's fault that he did decide to do this day. But, okay. Yeah. Just, like, if you have a co-captain or something that you can just maybe, whatever, go get drunk someone yeah. else will take over then mm-hmm. like whatever but uh, i mean this is just like i can't even say how annoying this is yeah fuck oh, up I know. so bad i know and i feel like it was kind of a play on maybe how you know how they say like pilots are huge drunks and they'll fly planes drunk and I just thought it was kind of ironic because I guess not ironic, just funny. There's a lot of satire in this film. Mm. Obviously, I looked it up and I guess this filmmaker, he does these types of films. And honestly, it was done perfect. I know I keep literally sucking the dick of this movie, but there was something so good about it. I just cannot get over it. Yeah. Except for that damn end- ending. You know, I'm I pissed think, off. I think you're still pissed, yeah. It's just like, like I said, I've already said it a few times, so I'm not going to repeat my angers, you know, yeah. I've made it crystal clear, but just write one. Yeah. Even if it was bad, 
whatever. I'm gonna deal with it. But make sure there is one on the page. Yeah. Because this is the same thing as if it ended when they got on right to the island. Right. If it ended right there, that's not the end of the movie. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did your jaw drop a little bit whenever the ship did sink? Like, they got bombed? Yeah, it was fucking crazy. I know, obviously. I but- think we were supposed to know that this is like a shipwreck or something. Right, I mean, like, yeah, they kind of shouldn't the trailer. But I barely it, knew, so it was kind of shocking for me. Yeah, but um, I thought it was. I don't know if you'll like understand what I'm saying with this, but when the pirates are approaching with their guns and yeah. shit, um. It felt like all of a sudden I understood the whole movie. And, okay, what I mean is up until this point, I don't really know what type of movie this is or, like, really get it. And something about, like, let's throw some pirates in there to, like, mass murder everyone and blow it up made the whole thing make, like, yeah, oh, this movie's, like, (laughs) For shit, almost. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I thought the same thing. Yeah. Um, let me see what this. It's just under comedy or drama, but it is like a dark kind of. I don't know. It's something so complicated. I don't know. I guess if I had to, I would put it in those categories. But yeah, I mean, is <laughs> it's like literally a satire, right? Is that what that means? Yeah, and he does, I guess, black comedy, too. And I think this that's basically what this movie is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, it was funny. There were moments where I was laughing. Say one. Huh? Say a moment. Oh, my gosh. I really think it was... Uh... The lady with the little girls. <clears throat> it was, I was it the Russian guy's mom? Who was it? Because she was always, or was she just her own being? I don't know. When the Russian guy no, was she on she wasn't the island, because he did hug her whenever she passed. Yeah. <laughs> her, all of her diamonds. That was yeah. a funny one. As he's like grieving her death is pulling <laughs> off her diamonds and putting it in his Taking shoe. Taking off her ring off her, um... Corpse What's, finger. Yeah, what is that called? Rigor mortis. Yes. Like finger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so crazy. See, moments like that, so dark. Yeah. But it was, it was funny. It was funny. Obviously, the whole movie was not fucking just funny. It was very intense. Yes. Um. I think it was kind of great that this guy who was just literally working on the boat yeah he was shirtless big deal he was smoking big deal gets fired literally saved yeah Yeah. i hate that because that felt when he complained about that felt so real yeah yeah because people Karen's, you know, I hate to bring that up, but they're going to complain about shit like that. And he was so insecure that he literally had to go complain about this guy being shirtless and having a smoke. Um, so what do you think of Carl and Abigail, like their relationship? Bizarre, because I couldn't figure out if he was just using her, because he made that clear. I'm, you're buying me with these pretzels. But he, there was something about it where it seemed like he might have kind of liked her. Oh, I think he did. I think it started off that way, and then it seemed like he's attracted to the most powerful bitch in the room. And so, like, this was now... Yeah. The most powerful bitch in the room by far. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah, it seemed like he like fucked with her. Yeah. It wasn't like a joke. He's like, do you want me oh, to I break know. up with Yaya? I know. And <laughs> I totally agree with what you're saying. It's just, it's confusing because he did say to her face, yeah, you're basically buying me. Mm-hmm. You're giving me something, then I'll give you something. You know? So he said that in the same conversation as he's looking at them walk off together. And it feels like he likes her, but he's also not even really telling her he likes her. In this specific situation, she has like this hot young guy. She just has it all. She like in, if this was to ever happen, she's on top of the world. Like she has yeah. everything she could ask for. Mm-hmm. She's basically in the seats of everyone else that is on the boat except for who is that um that lady who's like the the boss of the boat. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But she basically traded places with all these people who are rich who are the ones that control. Every have so much more power than her. Is there? Do you think there's like a message behind that of anything? Okay, obviously they're talking about like politics and power. And I just meant like a message that you wouldn't expect is what I'm saying. Not the obvious. So what do you think? Because I okay, what I'm trying to say is like. Would this situation almost only happen if, like, I don't know. Like, in what world would this power dynamic switch? Is Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, it really feels like a one in a million thing. Something like this, being stranded on an island and all these idiots. Okay, what I'm saying is, like, all right. Let me put it this way. If you took how the first half is set up, the whole boat, let's say that this is, uh, like, almost another way of saying this is the reality of life. If you took this whole situation, all the workers in the boat and all the guests on the boat, this is how life is. Mm -hmm. Let's say, hypothetically, this boat crash This boat Mm -hmm. massacre is almost like an apocalypse. Yeah. (laughs) And now in this world, yeah, like there's like, let's rethink everything because everyone's at square one. Yeah. Like everyone's back Mm -hmm. to square one. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I feel like that was a part of the message. I definitely feel like that was in there. It's definitely like a message of the movie. I mean, I thought it was even funny. What is the message of the movie? I was. I don't know myself. <laughs> okay, like, what are you saying is a message of the movie? Like, if you could put it in a sentence. I don't know how I'd put that in a sentence. Just that, you know. I would Obviously, just... I think that everybody has a certain part of them, probably, that has power over another person. But it's just never utilized. Okay, yeah, that's what I was also, like, that's what I was trying to say. Is like, if, um... Like, the person who's at the bottom of the totem pole... Yeah. Is the message, like, they would only ever be in this position once they are needed? When their skills... Or, like, because like, it's what? something. Like, it's something, and I can't figure out what this yeah. is saying. I'm asking yeah. you, do you know? Kind of what I said. That was my full leg. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, no, I I agree with you. I know what you're saying. I already put it into words the best way that I can, I think, right now. Mm, okay. But I feel like I could if I was in a more clear mental state. I think that I would be able to really say the message behind that. But I, what I mean, I think, is it's just that everybody has their skill or power that could put them ahead but we're kind of just sheep like right now a lot of people are to the people who just have the power which is money you know take away money who's in power now 
A lot of other okay, people. Okay, so yeah, maybe that's the message. If like money's not an object, yeah. then do the power dynamics change? Of course, I think it would change. And then it becomes the people who have actual useful skills. I bet. Yeah, you know and it's ironic just because at the beginning, whenever it was the first part of the yacht, and she's that bitch. I keep forgetting her name, that blonde one. She's giving them the speech saying, say yes, yes, yes. Right. Money, money, money. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. It's just funny because they had to say yes to all these rich people. Now all these rich people are having to say yes to the bottom of the totem pole of even these workers. Okay. Which is the mate, unfortunately. I don't agree with that, but. This I thought was so interesting and it felt like it said so much. When they were all stranded on this island, and they're not really panicking Mm -hmm. at all. How much that says about this group of people who everything will always be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Mm -hmm. they'll find us. Like, what are you, like, almost tripping about? I know, they're chilling. They're eating all the food, drinking all the water. They are laughing. I mean, they are loving. They Mm -hmm. are just... Oh, sorry. We ate the pretzels. Yeah. I know. Okay, this is the only box of water we have. Everyone savor it. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Hugging it. Like, I just was, my the jaw way was that almost you on the see ground. this group of people, just <laughs> the lack of concern of just oh like, oh gosh. no, I mean, everything will really be fine because probably it always has been for my whole life, uh, you know? Yeah. And I thought it was also, this is not on that topic but it is on when they got to the island some of those beginning island scenes were so good the flare scenes okay. and i think they were in like the dark the couple yeah yeah and what's yeah. his name Carl. Carl. i'm gonna forget his name the whole time but they were in the dark i don't know just the way that this director did this was so good or probably cinematography as well it was just really really good i thought those scenes were so well done yeah um when they first i can't think of what the first shit was it might have been the guy on the toilet yeah it was but um i remember my jaw hanging open i know we I already kind of touched on mouth. this but my jaw was on the ground, and then I think the music started playing, or maybe it already had. I but think it already was going. My that entire scene, watching this happen, my jaw was literally hanging. I can't believe that they would put that in there. It was a great. I. It was like out of control. It was out of control because I don't think I've ever seen something so. Vile. Grotesque. I was going to say vile, too. I've just never seen that type of thing in a movie. Like, you maybe know someone shitting a, their pants in another room, but they don't show it coming out of the ass. Christ. In the sounds. It was I wish we so saw much. the behind the scenes of the little tube they had to put right next to their asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with, like whatever brown some fucking Ew, i can't even think about that chocolate honestly. milk it was that's quick so gross yeah Ugh. um yeah okay uh what did you think of when okay the russian guy and his wife girlfriend yeah and carl and yaya these two when they're on the boat like just they're how the guys are kind of just like okay. watching them and they're at the bar they're like almost being like kind of flirty in front of their mm-hmm. me- like what do you think of that whole thing or even what do you think of yaya kind of flirting with that guy in front of carl i think She's just very out of touch with reality. I'm sure she has just obviously if you're in the modeling industry. And I just feel like it's so much of an exaggeration of a person. Yeah. Um, I don't think she means any harm. 
at all. I think she's just so ignorant to like the whole situation and being respectful in a relationship. I mean, I think at this point she doesn't even take Carl seriously like that. Okay. Yeah. She ends up obviously liking him, I think, throughout the movie. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I felt like it was super... Okay, it's like a mix between gaslighting and passive-aggressive. Because you're doing something that's not... Like, if you looked at it on paper, it seems like you did nothing wrong. Yeah, I smiled and said hello. But it's something that is so... you're. The way that it happened and the way that you're gaslighting this into, like, you're tripping. Like, nothing happened. Like, technically, yeah. It's, like, it is just this major frustration of what I guess would be, like, manipulation. Yeah, I think she definitely gaslighted him into thinking that she was being innocent. But we all know. Yeah. And I kind of thought that was is this misogynistic? And then I had to keep thinking, this is just like exaggerated characters supposed to be like this. And everyone's like this. It's not just how he portrayed women, maybe women who are in social media, whatever. (laughs) I was not, I was trying not to get offended by how he was portraying them because some of it's realistic, but some of it he just... I mean, I like was just trying to think of it as... A uh, Yaya in particular, I was just trying to think of her as just the character, Yaya, and yeah. Yaya was shady. She was she shady. She was sneaky. She had admitted though sometimes. Like once. She did admit it once. They probably <laughs> never again. Yeah. No. I feel like we need to talk about that donkey scene. It was so traumatic to see. Yes. I didn't feel like I needed to see all of that. Yeah. Um. To me, I felt like the worst part was obviously that it wouldn't die. Yeah. And then Duh. the noises. I know forever. That it kept making. It was and horrible. the beating, you could hear the kicking, and the hitting. Oh, it was so bad. I don't even need to talk about it for that long. All I'm gonna say is that was crazy. And then did you notice how afterwards that guy kind of became kind of like a king of the castle? And they had him like cocky. Yeah, and then they put that donkey skeleton up for display behind them. (laughs) That is so realistic. It was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. I know. Um, another thing I thought was interesting at the island is they pretty quickly gave Abigail the captain title. I mean, there wasn't much of a fight. They wanted more octopus. They needed food. They knew she was the only way to get that. Yeah. Um, one thing I did want to say is what do you think about these, that guy, the people, the natives of the island? Oh, my God. Like, I'm going to answer your question, but what did you think about the woman with the stroke and how she couldn't respond to him? Oh. My heart was hurting. I felt bad for that bitch the yeah, whole time. I did, too. And especially in this situation, like, because she can understand completely. She yeah. just lost her ability to communicate and or, like, move, kind of. Mm-hmm. And how this was her chance for... Like, help, or, like, I know. we've been stranded, this boat, blah, blah, anything. And he's not picking up what he she's putting He's so down. oblivious to all of these things. Like, what the hell? That she doesn't belong there. And her, she gave this, like, face of relief when he showed up. I know. Like a smile. Yeah, again, it was just, it was a part okay. of the film. It um, was the vibe of the film. You asked me what I thought about him, right? Just that situation, how crazy it was. It was... They were literally, they could have been saved. I know. They still might be. I don't think he's that far. (laughs) I mean, but she can't even communicate to the others that there's people here. I know. She can maybe write it in the sand one day. 
Maybe. Like Can she guy. write? Yeah. She has one good hand. I know that. Okay. For sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, write this in. What did write you think about the um resort on the island? How weird was that resort? It was weird. It felt like shady. I don't know. It felt like even if they went there, they might not get saved from this Why? island. I don't know. It felt like what would off. happen hypothetically. I don't know. Who's in this secret island resort? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it didn't even look like a resort. It looked like someone's private. Candy it looked land. like a resort, like the outside of it, but it just fell off. Do you it know felt what I'm very saying? Off. It looked like a private, yeah. like some freaks. I know. It well, felt like a bunker place. for the rich. Yeah. That they would go if the world went to hell. Yeah. Totally. That's yeah. what it looked like. So it fell off to me, but. How did you feel for Abigail in that moment? When she was realizing she's about to get snatched back to reality. I had empathy until she wanted to literally murder Yaya to keep this power. I mean, it just shows how much power controls everything. Yeah. And like the extent people will go to keep the power. I even thought it was interesting. It kind of felt like almost capitalism socialist i don't even know how you want to describe it obviously this had a lot of politics in it but when she caught the first octopus and how she said one for me one for you and then she obviously has this big pile at the end and then she gives the other half to the rest to share yeah it kind of felt like a play on that i know um this movie feels like i'm like almost not smart enough for it like, That's what I said. You feel so many things that, like, I got your messages and I'm, like, too dumb to, like, think like, of put what, the yeah. Pieces like, together. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. That's why I feel like I would get it completely on my second watch. Yeah. I feel like I need another one. And this is a movie, this is a type of movie that you could watch twice. Yeah. No, it was so Even fun. three times. Yeah, no, it was great. It really was. And not all great movies have replay value. Mm mm. But I'd be in, and I would want everybody to watch this movie and everybody. say, what do you think? But don't you just wish? Okay, yes. You're so stuck on the end. And like, it's just you because have to kinda it let was it go. so close. Like, if the ending was phenomenal. I would recommend this movie. It would not what I only like recommend this to so many people, but I would put it as like one of my favorite movies. And yeah, I one mean, of the top for movies. the next like 10 years, this would be up here as like <laughs> yeah. this really quirky movie that I yeah. love. Totally. So close. I know. Um, Like, honestly, the more we talk about it, though, like, no. Oh. I was going to say the more I kind of get over the ending, but yeah. I don't think I do. Especially with the fact that I don't know what the fuck Carl's doing and why. Okay, to me, what Carl could have been doing, obviously he could have been doing a lot. He could have seen the people walking up. Because right before it ended, there was a scene with the lady who was talking to the native islanders. Okay. Or the Islander. So in my head, he could have either seen them. He could have heard Yaya scream. Went running for her. He could have... He could be running for a million different yeah, reasons. But that's what I'm saying. Because she Yaya could have turned rain. around. It could have been anything. Yaya could have turned around in that moment and seen her. Because she was struggling with a rock in her hand for like a minute. Her eyes freeze. She could have turned around, stopped it, screamed. He could have went running... He could have had Lots this intuition of, of something's not right. They're not coming back. Run after. I mean, it could be anything. And I Lots think could be. this is obviously a director, at least in this movie, who really wants you to kind of want to die. <laughs> want to leave the movie theater and die. Come up with your own. I don't want to. 
I want you to do that for me because you've done so good I up know. until this point that please now finish with something. Do a you have banger. anything? This is probably like a hot take. <laughs> All right, hot take. Do you think? That directors or screenwriters who write this type of ending are cowards. In what way? Like, if they ended it completely, concluded it, that it would never, they would never feel like good enough about their conclusion that they leave it open ended because they're too scared to disappoint with a horrible ending or that it's not good enough. So they just leave it. I know what you're saying. I don't know what. Though. Don't know Wait, I don't either. know. Maybe it's I don't know some people's just is. style. I mean, I to me, it feels like what it screams, and I don't think this is the case at all. I think they really did write this ending as this is how we want it. Yeah. But um, it feels like your deadline is at midnight, and it's eleven, <laughs> and you're you just wrote up to this point. We Submit. never know what she does <laughs> send. Like, yeah. that's what it gives to me. Like, you were reaching a deadline that you didn't have any more time to write this for. Yeah, totally. So, yeah. I feel like that is the last we can say about that ending. We've brought it up five times. All right. <laughs> I know that, like, upsets you. No, you're right. I mean, I have made it, like I said before, clear. Yeah. What my beef is. And it really is, like you said, just because the movie was so fucking good up yeah. until this. It was. And it wasn't even, like, that bad, like, of the ending. It just was not there. Yeah. Is there anything else that really stuck out to you that you want to discuss? Um, I feel like there's so much more, but. But you don't want to talk about it anymore? Not that I don't want to talk about it anymore. I feel like it literally, there was so much that it's hard to keep the notes of everything in my head of what I, I know that I'm going to go to bed tonight thinking, oh my God, we should have talked about this or tomorrow. You know what okay. I mean? Um, I was trying to pay attention to the almost like servers on the boat were they mm -hmm. servers something like that they're like the the staff okay i was trying to almost pay attention to their diversity because mm -hmm. it felt like when they showed us um what's it called obviously the rich people mm -hmm. then they show us the staff which i felt like was a major like major a majority white Yes. Then they show, like, hard labor, majority people of color. Right. I mean, all. All. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It just felt like that meant mm -hmm. something. Yeah. That stuck out to me. I'm sure. This was just a like whole... like, of, like, different levels of... Societal kind economic of... Economic goal. Politic. Shit. Wrapped into a movie. Rodney encapsulated into this and then not given the quirky movie. movie almost horror almost horror i'm not yeah, horror. Yeah. Uh, i was gonna say do you have anything else you want to say oh my god i'm brain dead i can't think of that movie this rocked movie, my this, shit this movie feels like i just got a fucking lobotomy it feels yes. like um i went into the 1950s mental hospital because uh, um i don't know something stupid you know, <laughs> like yeah. something I'm not crazy for. And they <laughs> put the Vaseline on my temples, put the, you know, little thing, put that little rubber thing in my mouth and fried me up. <laughs> yeah. It was either the movie or the Jack Herrera, one or the other. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I have to say really quick because I'm going to take this out. This podcast is falling apart like the triangle of sadness. <laughs> oh, you know another thing that did stick out to me that I really liked about the movie? You know, I have this kink for when they use the movie's title in the script. Yes. Every movie we've been seeing like that lately. 
Yes. I've had that. Mm -hmm. Um, Not only did they say it relatively quick, which doesn't really matter, but... the very beginning. The meaning of it, Mm -hmm. too, felt a little... It was fucking cute. I liked it. I loved it. Like, work on this. Your triangle of sadness, you know? Relax it. Yeah, relax it. (laughs) I thought it was great. I love that. I loved that whole scene. That's all I wanted to say. Good. I'm glad you got that out. I would have thought about it. Yeah. That's, that's, for right now, this is all I have to say about the Triangle Sadness. Would you change your rating? Um, maybe one day. Like, over time, yeah, I'm sure. When you're not as salty? Yeah. Right now, I'm super, super salty. I'm sour (laughs) as hell. I'm (laughs) throwing a fit. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, the day I get over it, for sure. I would almost move my rating higher. Good for you. And say, maybe I already said this, 9.1, 9.2. It was so good. Like, I want to give it a 10. Trust me, I know. In fact, um. Okay, but even if the ending was perfect, I think I would give it a 9.9. Because there's always... This- Gonna be everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> the only 10 star movie in the world that I've ever seen. The best movie ever made. There were movies that I thought were was a 10 out of 10. Till we saw this. Till I saw that. Yeah. That was the best movie and I've ever I seen. And now I can't put anything. Yeah, sorry. It doesn't come <laughs> fucking close. So 9.9, if that ending was perfect. But because yeah. it's not, I'm gonna give you a 9.2, 9.1. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, I'm just throwing a tantrum, and that's yeah. really it. I mean, like, I can't express, the, other than the ending and just my personal feelings of it, the movie was fucking fantastic. It was phenomenal. Yes, it was. Amazing. I want everyone to see it. So we can shit on that ending. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I'm turning this <laughs> off. Okay, bye. <laughs>